Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. Should be a beautiful day here in the Pacific Northwest. Hope to get out on the water a little bit today and have some fun uh, with some family and then just uh, expecting great things from the Lord and appreciate all that He does and we give Him all the praise. Our word of encouragement comes from 2 Timothy chapter 2, beginning at verse 14. Keep reminding them of these things. Warn them before God against quarreling about words. It is of no value and only ruins those who listen. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a workman who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Avoid godless chatter because those who indulge in it will become more and more ungodly. You know, as I think about this passage and I think about Paul's words here to Timothy, I think he's really talking about how we use our words, um, and what we do with our words, and trying to avoid things that cause uh, conflict. And, you know, the devil wants to get into our relationships. The devil wants to get into our conversations. He wants you and me as brothers and sisters in Christ to, to quarrel and to fight and to confuse those around us. Uh, you know, what's important, really important, is that people know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. What's really important is that people uh, know the way to salvation, which is Jesus Christ. It's really important that people understand, you know, uh, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit as the Trinity and, and, and how that comes into um, play in our lives, if you will, and how, how God works within us and how God has called us back to himself. God is the creator. God is the sustainer. God is the giver, if you will. Um, God is righteous and just and all these things. Um, and we don't want to get caught up on on idle chatter idle chatter or endless words um, what's important is that we communicate the truth uh, so often in life we get into these ideas of, of being part of a group or uh, you know um, and, and in Bible times we talk about the Pharisees and the Sadducees and other groups of religious people and how they had different thoughts today uh, we talk about uh, Catholics and Protestants and then within the, the Protestant church the, the many different denominations there are and um, and although Maybe we agree or disagree with certain facets of, of denominations and how people have interpreted the word. Uh, what's important is that people know Jesus as their personal Savior, that people know the truth of God's righteousness and, and live according to it. So today I just want to encourage you to uh, be open, uh, not to a accepting false doctrine or to do it always other than Christ, but to be open that uh, God is working on people. And, and God is teaching, talking to people. And so let's not try to focus today so much on that maybe we're exactly right as much as we just want people to be in. We want people to know the salvation and love that comes from serving God. Uh, so whatever you're faced with today, or maybe the questions that are asked, let's not focus on the idle chatter, but let's focus on just telling them what God is doing in our life and, and testifying, if you will, uh, through our words of, of how God, how great God is and, and his mighty blessings. So today I just wanna encourage you, um, Allow God to speak through your words, and let's not focus on uh, on the stuff that really doesn't matter. Let's just focus on on Jesus Christ as our Savior. Father God, thank, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this reminder that we don't want to get caught up in, in arguments between denominations or, or churches, uh, that all churches that serve you as as our God, as, as Jesus Christ, our Lord uh, and Savior, as the Holy Spirit leading our lives. Uh, Father, we want to commend them and, and be a part of what's going on. Help us, Lord, as we reach out to our brothers and sisters who don't know you, Lord, that they would hear our words um, in such a way that encourages them to be drawn to you. Father, we, we want our words to be positive. We don't want to be caught up in idle chatter. We don't want to confuse those around us. And so, Lord, speak through us uh, and speak to us. Uh, draw us closer to yourself. Make us more like Christ, Father God, that we might, uh, again, that you might use us to win others over to you. Father, we thank you for all that you're about to do this beautiful day. May you bless those who watch this. May they sense your presence surround them. Uh, and may you be glorified in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. Hey, we love you as well. Have a wonderful day in the Lord, and we hope to see you again tomorrow. God bless.